So, today is Sunday. Yesterday was the con. And... I didn't get to film. I couldn't film in any of the main areas. And that's where all the good stuff was. The only parts I could have filmed in were of empty rooms with chairs and tables. and Wouldn't, wouldn't have been worth it. I did film uh, at least two videos when I was there. One was inside, talking about what I bought, but I had to return that for reasons I'll explain shortly. And once outside. So, I bought a Miku Hatsune Figma, but when I opened it in a different area, uh, I noticed that she was broken. So I closed it up, brought it back, and returned it for my money. They did give me my money back. And, you know, I was a little, obviously, upset after I had to return. I figure that was the only thing decent there, because I'm not a huge anime fan, and most of the anime stuff they had was stuff I never even heard of or watched. But, on the way out of that room, my brother noticed that uh, the one guy at this one table we were looking at a while ago, or a few times, was the owner of Retro Land Toys. If you haven't seen those videos, go check them out. That guy is really fun to be around. And just overall friendly. He, uh, he also has a Facebook. and I'm not getting paid to promote his shop. I'm only doing this just because he actually brightened my day. Not just by being there, but he actually did make me make me laugh a little. But yes, if you want to visit his Facebook, it is, uh, right there. The link to that Facebook is also in the description of the, one of the videos, probably the first video that I filmed in his shop, so. He's a nice enough guy that'll, that let me film in his shop and show off all the goodies he's got. But that, that aside, you know, I digress from that. I didn't leave empty-handed, because someone, you know, told us that there's a guy who worked for Nintendo there, who's had this one gaming section set up with the Wii U and 3DS, and he was giving away free Amiibo. Pfft. I went over there and I got me one. So did my brother. And we got a free Bowser Amiibo. This was the only one he was giving away, by the way. Just Bowser's. But it's okay, because I really like Bowser. Yeah, he has this Velcro padding on the bottom of his display base. Uh, that doesn't really bother me. As a matter of fact, I really, really like that. Really, really like that. But yeah, his display base is the same as a standard Amiibo. Standard Amiibo's display base, so... Because my brother checked and, you know... It still works even with the pad on. I checked. This Amiibo is already registered to me. I love it. Something that would cost just about twenty dollars, a little less than twenty, but you know, you'd give them a twenty nonetheless. But now I have my own little collection of amiibo. I have two other off camera, but I won't show those yet. That's for uh, another time. But I, had, I didn't. I didn't just get that. He also gave me a little Mario Maker hard helmet, which I'm pretty sure this is just a generic plastic costume hard helmet that you can literally buy anywhere during the holidays and they just stuck a Mario sticker on it but it, it one it was free and two it was nice everyone was wearing one by the way just about everyone uh, I also got a poster Triforce Heroes poster double sided but because it's double sided I didn't even ask for a second one, he just gave me a second one. In my opinion, that was really thoughtful. I'm really glad for that. I didn't even ask, I just asked about this next one on my show because there was a plastic bag and it had like little black, uh, what looked like little black cartridges in it, or in them, and I asked him what they were because it looked like Sega cartridges. And I was confused because he only had a Wii U. I'm like, why would he say cartridges? He pulled it out and it's a little Smash Brothers drink cozy. 3DS and Wii U. 
I will not be using this because it is a promotional item. I say I won't use it, but I might use it for the holidays just because, hey, it's the holidays, why not? Now this next one he didn't give me, I just found on a table. It is a Smash Brothers button. And yeah, it is the uh, same size as the emblem, slightly bigger. But if I wanted to, I could pin that on there and it would work just fine, but I'm not going to. So yes. That's all the free stuff I got. The exception of the two posters over there. From the convention. Now, the money I did get back, I did put to better use, but I won't tell you what I did with that just yet, so... That's a surprise. Well, that's it for this video. Thank you for, uh, very much for watching. Don't forget to ch uh, check out my other uh, content, especially the Retroland Toys video. That, that store is pretty good. I might leave the link in the description, or I might just let you find it on your own, because the hunt is more exciting. I'll probably put the link in the description. If I don't, then I either forgot... Well, yeah, pretty much I just forgot if I didn't. This video is not going up right now. I'm going to post it later because I got stuff to do on Team Fortress 2. That kind of adds on to what some of that money may want towards. Uh, <clears throat> don't ask. So, again, comments are disabled still, but if I can get at least up to 40 in total, we can get, like, I think I... 32 subs I think I have right now, 33, 32 or 33, if we can get that up to 40, or at least 10 likes on this video, comments will be making a comeback, well, earlier, comments were already coming back up, but during the holidays, but if you, if you want them up sooner, don't subscribe or like just for the comments, only subscribe and like if you like the video and my content, so, like, favorite, and subscribe for more, don't forget to share with your friends on Facebook and Twitter, and have a good day. Bye-bye, everyone. Mm. That is awesome. Um, and on that note, bye-bye.